Hi there, in this video I'll show you how you can create this awesome text effect in PowerPoint and quickly put together a beautiful opening slide for your presentation. But before we jump into the tutorial, please support my small channel by hitting the like button and subscribing. Also ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Your support will be really appreciated. And now let's get straight into the tutorial. First off, open up your PowerPoint and create a new blank slide. First, what we need to do is to bring in an image that we're going to use as a background. I'm going to quickly jump to the folder where I have saved the image I want to use in this slide. You can use any other image you want. Let's scale the image up so that it covers the entire slide. You can hold down the shift key to maintain the proportions. Now with the crop tool, let's crop the image to the size of the slide. Perfect. Next, we're going to need to create a copy of the image. You can simply select it and holding down option key or control key if you're on Windows, drag it to the side like so, and then align it with the bottom copy. Great. Now let's go ahead and select the text box tool and type in some text. Then you'd need to select the text and change its font and size. I'm going to use the fonts Anton, which you can get at Google Fonts. Let's activate the bold button. I'm going to set its size to 200. We want to make sure that the text is in the center of the slide. And to do that, we'd need to head over to the Shape Format tab. Now click on the Align tool and select Align Center and then Align Middle. Our next step would be to place the top image inside the text. And to do that, we need to select them. Please pay attention which item you select first as it will affect the final result. And for better visibility, let me bring up the selection pane, which is this button in the shape format ribbon. And if I click it, a panel will open up on the right side. Then I'm going to click on the top image layer first. And holding down command key or control key if you're on Windows, I'll select the text layer. And now we need to head over to the Merge Shapes tool and click on Intersect. Let me turn off the bottom layer for now so we can see the top shape. Next, what we need to do is to add an outline around the text to separate it from the background. And to do that, we'll need to bring up the Format pane, which is this button inside the Picture Format panel. Navigate to the Line section and click on Solid Line. Then you want to make sure the color is set to white and width will set to two points. To make the text pop a little more, you may also choose to add some drop shadow to your text. And to do that, we'll need to go to the Effects tab, expand the Shadow section, and in here we'll need to click on the Presses button and in the drop down select Offset Center option. Now set transparency to 25%. Size will leave it 102%. Blur I'm gonna set to 36 points. And angle and distance will leave at zero. Now let's switch back to the selection pane and turn on our background image. It looks good, but I want to reduce its brightness a bit so the text would stand out even more. Let me select the background image, head over up top to the picture format ribbon and click on the corrections tool. Then in the pop-up, select Picture Corrections Options. And in the panel over on the right, we would need to bring down the brightness control to about minus 20%. If you want to add some animation to your slide, select the text. And over on the top, go into the Animations tab. Here we'll select the Fly-in animation and change its direction to from top. I want the animation to start and click and last one second. To get access to more animation settings, we would need to open the animation pane, which is this button up here. Now expand the effects section, and in here I'm going to activate smooth start and smooth end options. And now let's have a look at the result. I hope the tutorial was helpful, please check my channel for more videos on PowerPoint and if you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!